Okay, so I'm here at the mall. But why am I here at the mall? It's only Thursday night. Well, because of my shoes, that's why. I returned my shoes and I ordered the right ones. You said, you sure you ordered the right ones? That's what you thought you did last time. Well, no. Last time, I went to a random person and they ordered my shoes. This time, I went there and it was the same person that I talked to the first time who got me my good shoes. This is actually a, a sales associate that was working in the shoe department. Well, today she was working at cash. And when I went to return these shoes, she went, hi. And I went, hi. And I said, thank you, thank you so much for these wonderful shoes. And she says, no problem. And then I explained and she went, we'll fix that. And so now I'm quite certain that I'm going to get the right shoes. So that's why I'm here. Now, next thing that's different is they were all out of maple pecan danishes. So I caved and I bought what looks like the next best thing, the for a limited time only available strawberry cream donut. No, not the same. Not even close. Not even remotely close. Doesn't, doesn't even taste like strawberry. This is the last roll up the rim for this year. So unless they have them tomorrow, and yes, I'm coming back tomorrow. That's not a tradition I'm going to break. I heard it today on the news that they they were uh, running out of the roll up the rims. I hope they have the uh, maple they can Danish tomorrow. This is, this is just a whole bunch of sugar on top of a half-baked donut filled with semi-good cream. It's not even like a Boston cream. I must say this week has gone on here. Which would No, I'm not superstitious. Well, the inside, the cream doesn't taste like strawberry either. 
So the pink stuff doesn't taste like strawberry, and the inside just tastes like cream. And the pink stuff is falling off. Add donut. Yep, they suckered me in. I come here for the roll up the rim. Okay. I'm the date. This coffee isn't good enough for me to come here just for that. The other one? But Mall Tim Hortons are not the same. I think Mall Tim Hortons just have students doing jobs, you know, after school jobs, not dedicated Tim Hortons workers that have this as their as their job because they like it. Or because they have to have a job because their retirement income will run out otherwise. I think I might work at a Tim Hortons if I found my retirement income was running out. Hey, why not? I know that eventually you develop a memory for faces and you remember people's orders. So if they can do it, well, they don't have to do it. They have too many people coming through to remember anybody's orders. Or to have regular, I don't recognize anybody there. It doesn't matter how often we come here, I don't recognize them. I do recognize, you know, people at the, the restaurants, not the departments. Coffee shop. Anyway. Um, I came here for my, to return my shoes. And while I was um, here, I picked up one of my emails. And it was, actually, he returned to my, I picked up an email earlier today from my construction person saying that, um, he would come by tonight and then I quick emailed my banker, my banker, my financial consultant. And yesterday I had deposited the check and they put a hold on it. They said, you know, we have to put a, a 10 day hold on it. I went, okay. She says, but um, if there's anything, you can always um, get in touch with Kimberly, your consultant, and she can lift that. And I went, okay. Because at that point I didn't have the uh, meeting with my construction person. Got the meeting with the construction person, so I this afternoon I thought, oh, I better um, check with her if she can lift that. So I emailed her. I said, this this hold on the check, uh, is there anything that can be done about that? Because I'm meeting my person tonight. And the the fastest emails ever. She emailed me back. I emailed her back. She emailed me back. And before you knew it, that hold was lifted. That was good service. Then the construction guy emailed me back and said, something's come up, can I meet you on Saturday? Sure. Which is why I'm here and not rushing home to meet him. Which is why I'm having a coffee and a donut. I figure if I have the um, maple pecan, 
one, I get the benefit of maple, which is my favorite flavor. And I get pecans, which are protein. This donut had none of those. No maple. No pecans. Health benefits of both. Maple is um, good for you. I told my students what it was. It, maple has um, stuff that's good for you. Those things. Yeah, those things. No. Yeah, those good things for you. I don't know if they really are good. Certainly isn't enough in a maple pecan danish to do you any good. But the pecans, they're definitely um, protein. I see the pecans, so. Pecans, pecans, pecans. Okay, this coffee isn't half bad. The donut, however, was half bad. More than half bad. It wasn't big enough. It wasn't good enough. Too much sugar. Didn't taste like strawberry. Yeah, just no reason to have a donut. So if they don't have my Danish just tomorrow, I will complain. Yeah, so the, the hold has been lifted on my check. I can, on my check. Yeah, on my check, my sister's check, my cousin's check. So that can, got deposited. And um, I can write a check tomorrow and the process will start and he recalculated the um, cost because before I had wanted uh, imitation brick at the bottom of the siding and then the siding up above and I switched that to the breezeway and the siding no imitation brick or stonework because the cost was very close to the same. But I couldn't remember whether the cost was higher on the imitation brickwork or on the breezeway. Well, he gave me the final cost today, and it is even less than the than my check. So, yay! So I won't have to use my tax return. Um, and we'll just be able to deposit my tax return into my savings, which makes me happy. It all makes me happy. Bliss. Because I was thinking just the other day, way back, my parents said, you know, the terrible thing with Canadians, they live from paycheck to paycheck. They don't save anything. Well, okay, so fine, I do save something. I do save a lot. But it's hard to save anything. It's hard to save from paycheck to paycheck to save enough to make a difference. I am saving, but it's, it moves up very slowly. And I started worrying about that. And then I said, stop. You have a house. You're making improvements on the house. If and when you can't afford the house anymore or you can't the house. I mean, if you can't afford the house, then you start renting it out, you know? 
you get renters and they will pay for your for your um, property taxes and various things that you need to pay on the house. So, you know, I have to stop myself when I worry about things and just say, listen, you're okay. You're okay. But, you know, those things pop up every now and then. for very long because I don't let myself worry for very long. I just hauled a bunch of stuff out of my purse when I was going to, when I was putting some stuff in there. I still have all of these Bath and Body Works coupons, $10 off any $40 purpose. It's only valid until January 20th. Waste. I got a Tim Rewards card, but I claim not to need to come to Tim's other than when it's roll up the rim time. So I have the reward card, but as of now, I won't come here unless it's roll up the rim time. If I change my mind next Friday, I'll let you know. I may, you know, I'm fallible that way. I have a card now, so every seven, every seven swipes you get a free something. Free coffee, free donut, or free tea. Free coffee, free donut, free tea. Wow, I said that in exactly the correct order as on the card. Boy, greenwashed already. Should I say your coffee should be as good as the one at Westgate Mall? Nah. It's not worth it. They will ignore it. Okay, let's see. Let's roll up that end. Wow. <laughs> I just want a coffee. I seriously did not think I was going to win anything this time around. But there you go. They've got me hooked. Since I want a coffee, I'll come back. Nineteen minutes. I think that's plenty long enough. 